I'm Ram Kawarabayashi and this is my channel. Kami na naman, siyempre. <laughs> anyway, ayun, uh, papunta lang kami ngayon sa Hiroshima Castle. Yun yung second stop natin for today. So, tara, punta tayo. And, um, ano pa ba? After nun, maraming pa tayong pupuntahan. So, we gotta stay tuned. Tama? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hiroshima was first and foremost a castle town. Built in the 16th century, Hiroshima Castle was the physical, economic, and cultural center of Hiroshima. The castle was built in the city center, unlike many other castles in Japan, which are built on hills or mountains to keep them safe from attack. The castle, though, was important in western Japan, as the feudal lord of Hiroshima also ruled nine other western provinces. After the Meiji Restoration, unlike many other castles from the previous centuries, Hiroshima Castle remained as a military outpost. The final days of World War II, the entire city, including Hiroshima Castle, was destroyed by the atomic bomb dropped on August 6, 1945. The castle was rebuilt later out of concrete with a partially wooden exterior, and inside the castle has been made into a museum of the history of Hiroshima and its castle and other Japanese castles. There is also a display of military armor and chances to try it on, and an amazing view of Hiroshima from the top floor of the castle. The castle is also surrounded by a moat, and there is a marked path outside that surrounds the castle that is a beautiful walk when weather permits. In October, the annual Hiroshima International Food Festival is held around the castle moat. Hiroshima Castle, also called the Carp Castle, is a good example of a castle built on a plain in the center of a city as opposed to hilltop and mountaintop castles. Its main keep is five stories tall, and its ground are surrounded by a moat. Also within the castle's presence are a shrine, some ruins, and a few reconstructed buildings of the Ninomaru. Hello guys! So yun, papunta tayo sa third stop natin which is the Peace Memorial Park. Hindi na kami pumasok dito sa may Hiroshima Castle. I'm gonna leave that to your imagination. Ang magkano yung entrance ng castle? Not sure. <laughs> Hindi namin nakita pero yeah, i-research ko na lang and ilagay ko dyan sa baba. Magkana. So I'll see you guys sa next stop namin. Bye! Officially opened in September 2016, Hiroshima Orizuru Tower is located beside the A-bomb dome in Hiroshima. The 50-meter tall tower is one of the few buildings around the Peace Memorial Park and offers a great view of the surroundings, including the less commonly seen view of the A-bomb dome from above. The idea to convert the existing office building into a mixed facility tower was planted in 2010 and constructed on Hiroshima Orizuru Tower was completed in 2016. Ayun, uh, bago pala kami pumunta ng Peace Memorial Park, eh nagpunta muna kami dito sa tower. Uh, Ilagay ko dyan yung exact na pangalan niya, pero para siyang uh, naaalala niya yung Shibuya Sky na pinuntahan namin sa Tokyo. So, yeah, ayun. And, <laughs> so, it's Orizuru Square. Yun yung pangalan niya. Tapos, 1-7 yung bayad dun sa uh, pagka gusto mong pumunta sa pinakataas niya. And, magiging 1-2 na lang siya pag foreigner ka. Basta magdala ka na ng ID mo. The main areas for visitors to the tower are the cafe and souvenir select shop on the street level, the observation deck on the top floor, and the interactive multimedia zone on the 12th floor, while the rest of the floors in between are office spaces. Given Hiroshima's reputation as a creator's town, it is also the pride of the city to have a local talent playing a large role in the construction of the Hiroshima Orizuru Tower. Wood used in the building was sourced from either Hiroshima or nearby Okayama, while local artists provided the artwork that lined in the walkway inside. Sanbuichi Hiroshi, an architect born and based in Hiroshima, designed the building's distinctive looks. How buildings blend and interact with their environments plays a large role in Sanbuichi's designs, and the tower was no different. The observation deck on the top floor is open to the elements, allowing one to feel the wind as you take in the panoramic view. 
visitors choose to take the elevator or walk up a spiraling walkway up to the top. Walking up gives one the chance to view the artwork which tells the story of a fictional family and projects what life may be like for them from then on. In August 1949, it was decided that the area surrounding the dome, the once bustling Nakajima district, would be turned into a park devoted to peace memorial facilities. Kenzo Tange, the designer selected from the 145 proposals put forward, completed the park in 1954. As of the present day, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park covers an area of 122,000 square meters and features 60 monuments, a museum, memorial hall, and a conference center. Overall, the park is dedicated to the victims who perished as a result of the bomb and to memorialize Hiroshima as the first city in the world to suffer a nuclear attack. At the southern edge of the Peace Park stands the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Comprised of two buildings, the East Building and the Main Building, the museum traces the events leading up to the bomb and the subsequent disaster that engulfed the city. The main part of the museum tends to focus more on the damage caused by the bomb, in particular the human impact following the immediate explosion and the continued health issues many of the victims experience as a result of radiation poisoning. Scattered throughout the park are a number of memorials and monuments dedicated to the various victims of the atomic bomb. Every year, on August 6th, a large ceremony is held in the park to commemorate the anniversary of the bomb being dropped on Hiroshima. Important officials conduct speeches. Reeds are laid at the base of the cenotaph and at 8.15, the exact moment the bomb was detonated, a minute of silence is held. Thousands of people from Japan and all over the world attend the ceremony to pay their respects and remember those who died. In the evening of the same day, People write messages of peace on lanterns and float them along the river as a way to send the spirits of the victims unto a better place. Visitors to Peace Memorial Park see brightly colored paper cranes everywhere. These paper cranes come originally from the ancient Japanese tradition of origami or paper folding, but today, they are known as a symbol of peace. They are folded as a wish for peace in many countries around the world. This connection between paper cranes and peace can be traced back to a young girl named Sadako Sasaki, who died of leukemia 10 years after the atomic bombing. Sadako was 2 years old when she was exposed to atomic bomb. She had no apparent injuries and grew into a strong and healthy girl. However, nine years later in the fall, when she was in the sixth grade of elementary school, 1954, she suddenly developed signs of an illness. In February the following year, she was diagnosed with leukemia and was admitted to the Hiroshima Red Cross Hospital. Believing the folding paper cranes would help her recover, she kept folding them to the end. But on October 25, 1955, after an eight-month struggle with the disease, she passed away. Sadako's death triggered a campaign to build a monument to pray for world peace and a peaceful repose of the many children killed by the atomic bomb. The Children's Peace Monument that stands in Peace Memorial Park was built with funds donated from all over Japan. Later, this story spread to the world, and now, approximately 10 million cranes are offered each year before the Children's Peace Monument. Hi guys, so yon, uh Tapos na kami sa mga uh, exploration namin dito sa Hiroshima. Um, the experience was... I don't know how to say it, but it's really moving. And parang kinukurot yung puso mo dun sa... Uh, mga naririnig mo or dun sa nababasa dito sa Peace Memorial about dun sa nangyari noong 1945. Um, no words can express kung gano ka lalain ang nangyari ng mga panahon na yun. Um, kaya ko rin pala um, nag-decide na pumunta yun sa Hiroshima kasi parang 
gusto ko rin ipakita sa mga tao like for example yung napipintong gera ng Russia pati Ukraine di ba so parang kasi kapag nagkaroon ng gera at nagkumamit sila ng mga uh, malakas na weapon like nuclear weapon eh ang lalabas na matatalo ay yung mga tao walang mananalo dun sa gera so sana mapanatili natin yung world peace and uh, madaan lang sa di diplomasya yung mga bagay-bagay so yeah ayun lang guys so ayun nandito kami sa Hondori uh, para siyang Ateramachi or basta yung mga shopping street ng mga main uh, city anyway uh, naghahanap kami ng mga kainan well nakakita na kami ng, ng kakainan namin but yeah papunta na kami doon so saan tayo kakain Mochi? Sa Indian restaurant. Yeah. Kasi natin rin namin yung Okonomiyaki and sobrang sarap. Guys, grabe. Um, talagang uh, recommended ko talaga yung pag nagpunta kayo, kayo, pag nagpunta kayo dito sa Hiroshima. So, paano? I'll see you guys dun sa kakainan namin. Ayan po guys, si Mochi po nagsabi na masarap daw dito. Masarap dito. Masarap dito? Masarap <laughs> dito? Okay guys, so later ipapakita ko sa inyo yung order namin. Um, ayun lang. <laughs> Gutom na kami. Grabe, pagod pa. So, buti na lang talaga, maaga kami natapos ngayon. So Mochi, since ikaw ang nagpasimuno dito sa Indian uh, restaurant, ikaw mag-explain ng ating pagkain. Ayun, um, umorder ako ng special set. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung nan ko, ginawa kong garlic na. Mm -hmm. Tapos meron salad, may butido, may something here. Mm -hmm. sure. Tapos yung curry ko, pinapalitan ko ng chick butter chicken curry. Okay. Okay, so para ng kay Ram, bumili siya ng chicken tandoori, seafood chahang, tsaka itong parang yung butido mo. Ayun, para kain na tayo. Let's go. Tara, gugutom na ako. Okay guys, so titikman na natin tong mga in order natin dito sa Indian restaurant. First, itong Sarap. Kulang pulo siya ng spices. Tapos malasang malasa siya talaga. So may pagkamaasim ng maangkang, ganun. Ngayon naman tayo sa fried rice nila. Sarap din siya. Tayo sa chicken. Interesting siya kasi para siyang inihaw na manok katulad sa atin. So, yeah. Paano guys, kakain muna kami and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm Ram Kawarabayashi, and this is my channel.